Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. So today we're going to do something that um, I have never done before because it's just not something that is normally in our area, you know, easily accessible. Um, I know that they have it at the stores, I just never know what I'm looking at and I always forget about it and yeah, okay, so local market, trying to do my shop local thing to try to help out the smaller businesses and there is a fish market that I frequent um, quite often actually and they posted up that they had yellowfin tuna um, for two fifty nine dollars a steak. And I went, okay. So I messaged him and I said, hey, I'll be there tomorrow. I need 10 of them. He goes, okay, great. See you tomorrow. So I have no knowledge at all about yellowfin tuna, what its price should be or anything else. And so when I went in there, he, he, held, up, he held up one of these. See, that's my hand here, okay. He held up one of these and handed it to me, and I went, "You're are 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 you kidding? Really? Really?" He's like, "Lisa, it's yellowfin tuna." I went, y "Yeah, okay." <laughs> he goes, "It's only two fifty nine. I said, "Well, I don't know what the price normally is," so I said, "Okay, give me the ten. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this." So I'm gonna put a couple aside at least um, because Phil and I have never we've never had yellowfin tuna steaks. I'm going to put a couple aside and we will grill these up and have them, you know, they'll be nice little, um, I don't know, uh, we'll do a surf and turf or something. Anyway, but the rest of them theoretically are going into jars and I've been looking for an excuse to use these beautiful little jars that I got. I think honestly, I picked up a four pack of these, um, when I was doing the secret Santa thing and they wouldn't fit in the box. So I just threw them on the shelf and kind of forgot about them. And then somebody else gave me a bunch of coffee beans in one, one time. So I'm like, I have five of these so cute jars that I never ever use. So they are half pint jars. So I'm going to can yellowfin tuna and bring you guys along for the ride. Are you ready? Yellowfin tuna um, is, of course, high in omega-3 and all the other good stuff that you're supposed to have. So I thought it would be great to try to can our own tuna for our own tuna fish. Isn't that going to be fun? Um, and obviously like that's one piece in the jar, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to cut one of them to fit in the other half. We'll see how much I get into these. Very, very much like, um, canning, you know, any other fish, uh, you're going to do it for a different time than you would other meats. So I will have that listed up above. So one of the things I did decide is if we like this. Um, we are going to do more, but I will learn more about where I can purchase it and, uh, what the prices are and what the difference is between, oh, this slices beautifully. What the difference is between this and, uh, what's the other tuna? Ah, uh, ahi, ahi tuna, I think. Anyway, so we will, <clears throat> pardon me, give this a go. We're going to pack these half pint jars. You want to leave that inch head space, okay? And then we're going to pressure can them. Um, just like salmon, it is 100 minutes for pints or half pints. Now, if you are lucky enough, I mean seriously lucky enough, to be in one of the coastal areas that this is readily available, at much better prices than what we can get it here in Michigan because tuna is not a Great Lakes fish, <laughs> okay? Um, then this is a really, really great option. I just love the color on this. I mean, really, really love it. It is so pretty. I just was, <laughs> I was taken a bit aback um, when, I, when I saw what size they were. It was, it, I literally thought he was playing a joke on me. And that wouldn't be unheard of. I mean, I'm, I'm in there constantly. So uh, I think this is going to be amazing. And I'm really looking forward to grilling up uh, a few of these. And, they, I mean, they're flaky now. I mean, it's nice, you, just beautiful, tender, flaky. So I'm just kind of smashing it into the, into the jar. Oh, so not delicately. And um, I may use this jar, too. I think I will. And... We will get these all jarred up. Salmon has a very healthy and natural oil to it. So 
we want to make sure that we're getting the rims of the jars free of any possible oil from the fish. Okay, very important with this because this is not something <clears throat> that we want to waste at all. For that matter, I'm, a, I'm fully anticipating getting a little grief <laughs> for doing this, but okay, so now time for this. So we're going to put the lids on. I got those as close to an inch headspace as I could, um, smashing and pushing it in, you know, as much as I could. I'm not adding any kind of liquid, just the tuna. It'll be just like when I do the salmon, any juices in there, or any oils in there will be the natural juices and oils. There are different, um, there, you know, commercially you can get this canned in oil, you can get this canned in water, but we're just going to let it can in its own natural juices, okay? And because these are such squat jars, I mean, technically they're jelly jars, guys, um, I'm going to put a second rack in the bottom so it lifts okay, it up just a little so, bit. I mean, I have multiple racks, so that affords me a little more comfort, but... These are so squat that um, otherwise they'd be completely submerged. So I've got two racks on the bottom, one on top, and these two jars on top, okay? And we are going to can these for 100 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. Now, check your altitude. I'll leave a link on how you can figure out your altitude, and eventually I'll figure out how to put the lid on this right. Okay. And uh, you want to you want to make sure your altitude is correct. And let me tell you how jealous I am of anybody who lives someplace that they can get this <laughs> quickly and uh, much more affordably than I can. But if this is really good, I'm going to be canning up our own salmon a little bit more, I think. So we're going to let this come to a full steam of stream, steam, stream of steam, <laughs> and then. And then we will let it vent for 10 minutes, and then we will can it for 100 minutes. Whew, an hour and 40 minutes later. Okay, actually more than that. I had an extra 15 to depressurize. That's how long. I love, I love that about this 16-quart Presto, is it depressurizes so much faster than the 23-quart, which is nice for small batch canning. Okay, so now, oh yeah. Look at these beauties. Oh, we're already getting pings. Beautiful. Okay. Isn't getting that rack out always the tricky part? Yep. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Bubbling, bubbling away. And I'm glad I put the double um, rack on the bottom to bring them up a little bit. because that kept them a little more out of water. Okay, I'm trying to get you down close enough so you can see. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous home canned tuna. I'm very excited about this. Very excited about this. Now, I used the lids that came with the jars. So um, we've got ball and then a couple of care lids. Kerr. Look at that. But we got a ping. So they... They are just all beautiful. There was no, no siphoning. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, so this is where we're at. Some beautiful home canned yellow fin tuna. Definitely, if you guys have the opportunity, I think this is a great thing to stick in jars. We did half pints because there's only two of us, you know? Um, so that would be comparable to what we would buy at the store. Obviously, this cost a little bit more, but you know what? <laughs> you saw that quality. I know what's in here. Absolutely know what's in here. So, that is it for canning yellowfin tuna. Pressure canning yellowfin tuna. I hope that this was helpful. I hope if you have an opportunity, you can give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Until next time, everyone, remember, be safe.